Mistake number four, ignoring pH levels. When it comes to growing cannabis, many new growers focus on nutrients, light, and watering, but overlook a silent killer, pH imbalances. The pH level of your soil or hydroponic solution is like the gatekeeper for nutrient absorption. Even if you provide the best nutrients, if the pH is off, your plants won't be able to use them effectively. This phenomenon is called nutrient lockout, and it's one of the most frustrating challenges a grower can face. So, what exactly is pH? It's a measure of how acidic or alkaline a solution is, and it plays a pivotal role in determining whether nutrients remain soluble and accessible to your plants. Cannabis plants have a sweet spot for pH that varies depending on the growing medium. For soil, the ideal range is between 6 and 7, while hydroponic systems require a slightly more acidic environment of 5.5 to 6.5. When the pH drifts outside these ranges, essential nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium become chemically unavailable, leaving your plants hungry even though the nutrients are present. The symptoms of pH problems often resemble nutrient deficiencies, such as yellowing leaves, brown spots, or stunted growth, making them tricky to diagnose. Because of this misdiagnosis, many beginners will mistakenly add more fertilizer, which can exacerbate the issue by increasing salt buildup in the root zone. The good news is that managing pH is straightforward with the right tools and practices. First, invest in a reliable pH meter or test kit to monitor the pH of your water, nutrient solution, and runoff. Testing your runoff is particularly important because it provides insight into what's happening at the root zone. If the pH is too high or too low, adjust it using pH up or pH down solutions, which are readily available at most garden centers. For soil growers, Amending the soil with materials like dolomite lime to raise pH or sulfur to lower pH can also help stabilize long-term pH levels. In hydroponic systems, pH management is even more critical due to the direct interaction between roots and nutrient solutions. Regularly check and adjust the pH of your reservoir to ensure it stays within the optimal range. Additionally, clean your system periodically to prevent buildup that could affect pH stability. And that's a wrap on today's episode. Whether you're dialing in your setup or just getting your hands in the soil for the first time, remember, this is a journey, and every small improvement adds up to bigger and better results. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your story and what techniques have worked best for you. Your insights help fuel this community and shape future videos. And if you want to dive even deeper, consider becoming a Cannabis Guy channel member. You'll unlock access to monthly giveaways, exclusive content, loyalty badges, member-only discount codes, and much, much more. It's a great way to support the channel, stay informed, and grow right alongside an amazing group of cultivators. Thanks for tuning in to this educational video. And as always, keep being awesome and stay curious, my friends.